Hey, what's up everybody? It's Corey, and today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to make goose jerky. A lot of guys that go duck and goose hunting will tell you how bad duck and goose can taste if you cook it the wrong way. And even if you cook it the right way sometimes, it just does not turn out very good in my personal opinion. So the one way I found to cook it that is always good is to make jerky out of it. I'm gonna talk about the tools and utensils, the recipe, the ingredients, and the process to make it. Uh, so y'all stay tuned. All right, for the utensils, you'll need an electric fillet knife. It makes things a lot easier. Um, of course, you'll need your goose meat, cutting board, bowl, and a strainer. And then also you will need your uh, meat dehydrator because that's how you're gonna make the jerky. For the recipe, or for the ingredients, you'll need soy sauce, Worcestershire sauce, teriyaki sauce, liquid smoke, caro dark corn syrup, garlic powder, onion powder, sesame seeds, cayenne pepper, and brown sugar. I'll list the exact uh, amount that you're supposed to put into this concoction down in the description of this video, um, but those are the ingredients that you'll need to pick up from the store. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to fillet these into very thin uh, strips of meat. One thing that makes this a lot easier on yourself is if you put these in the freezer and let them kind of start to freeze, what that does is it just makes it easier to get a thin cut. If they're fully de-thawed, de thawed out, um, if they're fully thawed out, then the meat's a little harder to work with and it's kind of flimsy. So anyways, basically the take the electric fillet knife and just Fillet it into a thin little strip of meat. I don't know if you can see that, if it's in focus. You don't want to get them too thick. That one's borderline too thick right there. I gotta show you this. This this piece of meat right here is just almost perfect. It's like an eighth of an inch thick, real thin. All right, so now that you've cut your uh, goose breasts up into quarter to eighth inch pieces real thin, uh, the next thing you're going to do is rinse it off really, really well and go ahead and put it in this bowl. Alright, so now that you've uh, rinsed it off really well, it doesn't hurt to strain it once more. Maybe run it under the water one more time. Put some water in here. Then we're going to sprinkle some salt in there. Like I said, we'll just let this sit for quite a while. If you want one of these nifty bowls, this is actually a Pampered Chef bowl, so shout out to my mom. She uh, sells Pampered Chef. You can get cool stuff like this. I actually stole this from her, she doesn't know that. Anyways, we're gonna let this chill in the fridge, uh, let it soak overnight, and then tomorrow we'll come back and put it in the actual marinade. Okay, so we've let our goose meat sit overnight in the salt water to soak. Now we're going to mix up the uh, marinade for the jerky. And then you just let this sit for a few hours or however long. Um, and after it's sat for a few hours, you just throw it on the jerky maker. So we'll pick it back up when it's time to do that. Okay, so we've let the goose meat sit in the marinade for quite a while, a um, little over 24 hours actually. It really depends on how long you feel comfortable. I mean, it could be a few hours. I kind of got busy and got sidetracked and forgot about it, so it's been over 24 hours for me. Anyways, the next step uh, is gonna be just laying the jerky out on the trays. So you just take the tray, set it on the base. You literally just, lay the jerky out on the trays. Now you want to get it as close together as possible, but you don't want to actually stack the jerky on top of another piece of meat. So that's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, you layer the meat out, you make sure it's not doubled over on itself and not double layered on top of another piece of meat. I've got, I, I had two geese, four breasts all together, and I did four and a half trays of meat. Um, so with that being said, you're going to 
put the motor on and you let it cook or dehydrate, I've seen anywhere between four and 15 hours, depending on how thick the meat is, how much meat there is, it just depends. So you kind of have to check it. I would say after about six hours, come back and check it. Um, and then from there, it's just kind of up to you. Okay, so the jerky is finally done cooking. It was on for just under five hours. Um, I said check it about six hours, but you know, with the bottom two racks not having any meat on them, I think it cooked a little bit faster. Uh, also, it just depends on your preference. Some people like their jerky to be, uh, you know, just extremely dry. I like mine to have a little bit of moisture in it, um, but uh, this is absolutely delicious. I tried some before I started the camera up because it smelled so good, and uh, I've actually eaten a couple pieces as it's cooked. So. Uh, one thing I forgot in the ingredients in the recipe was the three tablespoons of brown sugar. And I've had it both with and without now, and I can tell you there's not a huge difference. So if you're in a pinch and you don't have any brown sugar, don't sweat it. It's still going to taste really, really good. Uh, anyways, I, I hope you like this video. I hope you love this recipe. And what you need to do now is share this with a duck hunter or a goose hunter who has no idea how to cook the meat that they're harvesting because this is the best way to do it. This is the only way that I'll ever do it, probably ever again. So thanks for checking out my video. Share it with your friends and y'all enjoy.